Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise High Ticket Dropshipping Masterclass. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the best location independent jobs if you want to escape your day job and travel the world and live and work remotely. So let's get into it. The best way to get a job is a loc to be location independent, right? Is obviously to start going off on your own and being a freelancer. That's the number one thing you can do. Now, a lot of people think that um, you know you can find easily find remote work jobs, and yes, you can easily find them, but they're kind of hard to nail down. So, there's really two ways to go about this. Actually, there's three ways, and I'll go over them in this video. Um, the first way is to be, start becoming a freelancer. There's websites like Upwork. Fiverr.com, Freelancer.com, and all those, and FreeUp.com, which I highly recommend using. Uh, you can be a freelancer, offer services, digital services of some sort, which means maybe graphic design, logo design, copywriting, creative writing. Um, you can build websites, you can do custom development. There's all sorts of different jobs. So go to any one of those freelancer portals and look up all the different services they offer companies and you can build skill sets in any one of those services and then start offering that to people through those platforms for a hourly fee or a project-based fee and the work you do can be from home or from a cafe really could be anywhere in the world you just have to manage that process so that's probably one of the best ways to go about doing it you'll be an independent contractor which means you'll get paid on a 1099 which means you won't get taxes deducted first from your paycheck like you would from a normal job from a w2 uh, w4 job so that means that you're gonna have to pay your own taxes and manage your own taxes pay self-employment tax all that stuff so you have to be aware of that so talk to an accountant and get a good bookkeeper as well um, the second way to go about doing this is actually to negotiate a remote work agreement with your employer so I've seen this done a lot and I actually used to work at a company where they had people that worked remotely answering the phones and stuff like that and working hand-in-hand -hand with the sales team that was in-house and so it was an interesting thing but I actually thought it was pretty cool because the nice thing about working from home is that you don't have any distractions as long as you have a, a home office with no distractions, of course, that's a given. But um, if you don't have any distractions at home, that's awesome. And you know, it's a private place. So working from home is great because you know you have your bathroom right there, you have food, no distractions, they can work for long periods of time. If you have a comfortable office chair and a comfortable work environment, um, it's a very, very nice place to work. You don't have people around you that you don't like or that are bothering you all the time for stuff. So um, it's a stress-free work environment, which is why people go to remote work jobs. But you can negotiate remote work agreements with your current employer if they have an online presence or a way to do business that is outside of the requirement of your physically being in that location. So if you're in sales, for instance, maybe you can sell over the phone. You don't necessarily have to sell over the phone at that job location. You can sell over the phone from home. So if you can convince your employer to give you a two-week trial to let you work from home and they set you up and you do a really good job in that trial, that's one of the best ways to get going for the long run because you'll build trust and if you can close more sales than you closed in the office and obviously makes sense to them they have lower overhead because now they don't have to actually provide you you know all the facilities to work at that office and more likely than not they'll start going slowly in that direction more so in the future once they find that it works really well with you now there are companies out there that already hire remotely and usually these are tech companies so you can go out there and find jobs for companies like Buffer or any of these freelancing portal companies any of the big online e-commerce companies often have remote work jobs so just look online for remote work jobs there's a lot of great ones available out there and the last thing I'd like to say is that if you want really want a remote work job and that's location independent um, you know, start there, get a solid income. But if you're the type of person that's also kind of an entrepreneur and you like building things, you like inventing things, and you've always kind of been interested in having an online store or doing some sort of affiliate marketing or, um, you know, creating some sort of a course online or even creating a physical product and selling it through Amazon, um, becoming an entrepreneur and starting your own business is one of the best ways to become location independent because then you'll be your own boss. You don't have to answer to anybody. You don't even really have clients, especially if you sell physical products, you just have customers. You have to deliver those to. So um, there's all sorts of different business models you can choose. Like I said, there's physical products, designing your own physical products. There's drop shipping, which means selling somebody else's physical products on your store or in a marketplace. There's affiliate marketing. You can create and sell online courses. You can, um, you can create a software company. You can create an app. You can create a digital marketing agency or other type of agency, maybe an advertising agency. Um, you can sell all sorts of digital products and blueprints and music, and you can do self publishing with ebooks and audiobooks. So, there's many types of different businesses you can create online. You just have to kind of choose the one that's right for you, the one where you have the right skill sets 
there's a need in the marketplace and it's actually something you enjoy doing. And when it fits those three things, you really find the perfect online business for you and you can create that and sell it and scale it. And you just have to believe in yourself and you have to, number one, understand that with the internet, content is king. So you have to be willing to create content yourself. So create written content, create videos, create audio, and get your get the word out there in the marketplace and collaborate with other people. Um, that's really the only way that people will come to like see you and appreciate you and sign up for your list, know, like, and trust you, and buy your products and services. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in starting your own business, definitely check out my niches list for high ticket dropshipping is the best place to start so you can understand what profitable products are that work for high ticket dropshipping. You can check it out at ecommerceparadise.com slash 99 niches, which the link is also in the description below. And if you're interested in getting my free three day mini course on high ticket dropshipping secrets, the three secrets you need to know to be successful with high ticket dropshipping before you get started, you can sign up for that free course at ecommerceparadise.com slash secrets and if it's your first time to the channel definitely hit that subscribe button like and comment where you're viewing from i really want to know where all my viewers are from just drop your city and country below i really love to network with people i'm going to be doing a lot of traveling in the future so i might be doing local meetups and if you want to be a part of that let me know in the comment section below thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video